Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Apollo Scooters. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the advanced settings guide for our brand new scooter, the Apollo Phantom. From your advanced settings, you'll be able to change things such as your screen brightness, speedometer units, or your acceleration levels. So let's get right to it. Now to access your advanced settings, make sure the scooter is first turned on, and you're then gonna press the up and down arrows at the same time for approximately two seconds until the screen changes. From here, you're brought to the P settings, and it should say 00, zero and that's simply just a placeholder. To cycle through your P settings, you're simply gonna press the M mode button, and that'll bring you next to P1. So P1 is for your screen brightness, and you can change this anywhere from three down to one, although we recommend keeping it on three at all times, so you can see your screen even in the brightest conditions. So the P2 setting will let you choose between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. As you can see, when it's set to zero, it's on kilometers. To change it to miles, simply press the up arrow, or back to kilometers, press down again. P3 will display the voltage of your battery, and this will already be set by default, so you don't need to touch this one. P4 is the automatic shutdown time for when your scooter is not in use. By default, it's set to five minutes, although you can change it anywhere from zero to 60 minutes. P5 is unused and should not be touched. P6 is the tire diameter, and this will already be set to 10 inches. Do not touch this setting either, as that could make the speedometer readings inaccurate. P7 is the number of motor magnets, and this should also not be adjusted as it's set by default to 30. P8 is the power level setting, and by default this is set to 100%. Now if you find the top speed of the Phantom is a little bit too high for you, you can lower it if you like. P9 is your start method, and you have the choice between zero start or kick start. Zero starts means you can simply press the throttle and go, but if you'd like it to conserve battery and have a little bit of extra safety, you can change it to kickstart, in which case you have to push the scooter and press the throttle. P10 is unused and should not be touched. P11 controls the regen setting for your motor, and by default is already set to three, the highest number which is optimal for recharging your battery while accelerating or braking. P12 is the acceleration levels for the Phantom. By default, this is set to three, although if you desire a faster or more subtle takeoff, you can adjust it anywhere from one to five. Settings 13 to 16 are all unused and should not be touched. P17 is the cruise control function, and by default, this is turned off and set to zero. If you would like to engage it, you can turn it up to one, However, we recommend leaving it off, as it's best to always have complete control over your scooter at all times. And finally, settings 18 through 20 are all unused and should not be touched. And there you have it. That's the advanced settings guide for the Apollo Phantom. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support team directly at apolloscooters.co and be sure to like and subscribe for more scooter-related content.